Well, I raced my first off-road dirt bike race. Uh, the series was VXCS, which is put on by uh, an awesome guy named Josh Deal, and they did a fantastic job. Um, I want to talk about my experience with it. So, uh, sometimes I have a hard time trying to figure out how to put the words out there or what I want to say, how I want to say it, if it's even worth saying. But I figured, yeah, let's just, it's for me even just to kind of get it off my chest and, um, yeah, to be transparent because I think that's the only way to, uh, to really do things and to improve and move forward. So right off the bat, honestly, I had an awful time. It wasn't enjoyable for me at all um, for many different reasons. Um, so first and foremost, well not foremost, but first, my bike wasn't running quite right. It wasn't quite set up right for the woods. I really don't even ride woods that often, so what do I expect? Um, I cut down a set of bars. I put on hand guards. I ran a few quick laps through my buddy's woods and felt awesome. Well, I was fresh too, um, so of course I'm going to feel great, but I really did. I felt great. Um, I was running, so I'm running 03 YZ250. The gearing was a 1448. Too tall of gearing um, for the woods riding. I should have at least had a 50 tooth sprocket on the rear. Um, my jetting was a little bit off. I run usually motocross style um, courses. I go really hard. I go fast. I never have had a problem fouling plugs, really. However, they have been, when I check them, they're kind of dark. Um, so the jetting could use improvement anyways. So it was um, multiplied in the woods, and I was fighting the bike throughout the woods constantly. With the clutch in, it just it wanted to die. So I was fighting that constantly, and it was so annoying. And when it died, and it did often... Because, here's another point, I would pull off all the time for faster racers coming behind me. Last thing I wanted was to get into someone's way. The last thing. I hate getting in people's way. I just, I hate it. I'm not interested in that. So, I would be watching and listening behind me. I would pull off far uh, before I really needed to. But I, I just wanted to make sure I could have a spot where I could pull off and get back on um, in a decent manner. So, um, and then my, the bike would die here and there. I would kick it over multiple times. I was exhausted. Now, let's backtrack. Before this, the start of the race, start of the race went fine. I did great. I came off the line pretty good. Got around the corners. It started good. I was like, awesome. Nice paths. Um, you know, decently wide. Cool. I can do this. I love this kind of stuff. Well, it turned uh, quickly where there was a hill climb and there was a bottleneck already by the time I got there. Tons and tons of people already there. I was like, what the heck do I do? I didn't take enough time to analyze it. I went ahead and went on. Um, I started uh, to go around the first little corner, which is still steep, but there's people already just piled there. I went on the bank. It was high-sided, so it was like angled like this. <laughs> I couldn't go anywhere. I didn't see anywhere to go. And I just tipped over. Couldn't tip over the other way, which I wish I could, but sorry to the guy I fell on. And then ensued the mess of just trying to get my bike up, off the guy, drug out of the way. I said, I'm going to go back down the mountain and just reassess. By the time I did that, I was spent. I used so much of my energy just trying to get the freaking bike up, off, drug out of the way and down the mountain. Once I let everyone kind of just go, let that wash out, I didn't know what to do, so I just waited. I went up it just fine. It's not that hard of a hill climb, so I don't know why people had that hard of a time. I have the skills to get up it, and I know, and I knew I did. So I did. I got up it just fine. Um, and But by that time, I was just spent. My technique was crap. Um, 
I could barely stand very well. I was exhausted. So I was just trying to push through, honestly. At that point, I told myself I'm not racing anymore. I'm just trying to ride and survive. So that's what I did. I tried my hardest to survive. I pushed and pushed. I had to stop multiple times on multiple occasions. I was just exhausted. Couldn't get in the flow because I was always pulling over for other people. It was ridiculous. Um, the stuff was so tight in sections I was not used to. It was ridiculously tight. Like snaking through little bitty trees. I just was not used to that. Um, I'm, I'm new to that kind of riding. So I got a lot to learn, a lot to practice on. Um, I'm honestly just really disappointed. The reason I did the race is because I saw a video of um, past races there, that series, in that place, and it looked pretty nice and open. This track was very different. That's okay. Um, it's not for everybody. So, anyways, I pushed through. I make it to, I know mile marker five at least, I'm not sure I quite made it to mile marker six, and I just could not push anymore. I was like, I better not keep pushing. I'm not sure if my bike can make it. I'm not entirely sure I can make this. So thankfully, um, an old buddy, technically my old boss, Brian Thompson from Roanoke Motorsport, thank you very much, um, came behind me. I was like, hey, Brian. And I was like, hey, how do I get out of here? Um, so took the fire road and honestly after that I had a good time I <laughs> did some exploring on some big ATV trails and um, went through a town for a little bit came back realized that was not the way found the green trail and found my way back I had a blast doing that came back and um, I knew my wife would be waiting because I had her waiting at some point with some gas because I knew I'd have to make at least two laps I felt like shit, excuse the language, but I felt like pure shit because I saw her and then she saw me and then she was scared out of her mind and she was crying and then she was all burnt to crap. Um, not, not enjoyable and I felt terrible about that. Um, I would have rather have been alone in that situation. So overall, not, not a good time for me. I really did not enjoy it. Um, great people there. I can't thank honestly the people there enough. Um, to the people I park next to, if you see this, you guys are so great and so helpful. Cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you to them, um, being there for my wife too, and the other people that were there for my wife. Um, thank you. Have a lot to work on, some bike stuff to work through. Um, and so, yeah, I'm a, I live to fight and live to ride another day. Look, I've only been riding for two plus years or so, if I think, and I'm 29. I think I'm doing okay. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself for pushing as far as I did, for as long as I did. I really wish that bottleneck and me falling didn't happen because I know I could have made at least a lap. I know I could have. But um, woulda, shoulda, coulda, whatever. It, it happened. I lived. I learned. We had a good time together, at least me and my wife, Erica. And um, hopefully I will do it again at another point when my bike is ready, when I have more endurance, when I feel more comfortable. I'm not giving up. I'm just taking a long break. Um, I'm probably going to do a lot of practicing, a lot of riding. Um, and uh, so hopefully I'm more prepared for next time. So. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, until next time, have a good one. Catch you later.